Hi guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel Nurse Blessing. Today video is all about appropriate positioning for specific disease conditions and procedures. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Mastectomy. Elevate on pillow the extremity on the affected side, to prevent lymphedema. Seizure. Side lying, to prevent backward falling of the tongue which can obstruct the airways. Varicose vein. Elevate the legs above the level of the heart, to facilitate venous return to the heart. Epistaxis. Leaning forward to prevent aspiration of blood. Cast. Elevate extremity, to prevent edema. Congestive heart failure. High fowlers, to improve oxygenation. Flail chest. Keep on the affected side, to facilitate expansion of the unaffected lung. Radium implant in the cervix. Flat on bed, to prevent dislodge. Thaw oratiantesis. Fowlers, during the procedure, to facilitate removal of fluid from the chest wall. After the procedure you may position the client in any position of comfort. Tonsillectomy. Side lying or prone to promote drainage of secretions. Thyroidectomy. Semi fowlers and avoid hyperflexion and hyperextension of the neck to prevent tension on the suture line. Lobectomy. Semi fowlers to promote breathing. Pulmonary embolism. Upright or fowler position. Hip surgery. Keep the legs in abduction, to prevent dislodge of the head of the femur from the isotabulum. Hiatal hernia. Upright position after meals to prevent reflux of stomach contents. Lumbar puncture. Lateral side lying, during the procedure, to facilitate the entry of the needle between L3 L4, flat position for 6 to 8 hours, after the procedure, to prevent spinal headache. Retinal detachment. Keep the affected side towards the bed, so gravity will help the detached retina to fall in place. Placenta previa. Sitting position, to minimize bleeding. Cerebrovascular accident. Elevate the head to reduce intracranial pressure. Asthma. Orthopneic position where patient is sitting up, leaning forward with arms supported on a table or chair to facilitate breathing. Laminectomy. Keep the back as straight as possible, to prevent twisting the spine. Post-cataract surgery. Patient will sleep on unaffected side with a night shield for 1 to 14 weeks. Above knee amputation. Elevate for first 24 hours on pillow, position on prone daily for hip extension. Laryngectomy. Semi fowlers, to maintain patent airway and minimize edema. Cleft lip and palate. 
with supine or propped on side to prevent rubbing the lip on the sheets. Below knee amputation. Foot of bed elevated for first 24 hours, position prone for hip extension. Spinal cord injury. Immobilize on spine board with head in neutral positon. Immobilize head with padded C collar, maintain traction and alignment of head. Pulmonary edema. Fowlers, to facilitate breathing. Prolapsed cord. Knee chest position or Trendelenburg. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.